everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back on site today doing lots of different projects. The first one I've already completed, as you can see behind you, I've got the first complete run of wire lath across the top of the pink foam on the foundation over there. It was a little tricky getting around some of the windows because the wire lath had to bend. I, I found out after the first window that the best way to do that was to kind of put it up, cut the window hole out, and then sort of do some rough pre-bends, and then to remove the wire uh, from the wall, and then get some ni a nice sharp uh, corners by having like a, a straight edge behind it. I used a you know a piece of scrap wood to really get the the bends nice, and then to put it back up. Uh, that way uh, you're able to get nice nice clean bends. The angles were all right, and you didn't have to fight with the wire trying to push back against itself. So I did all that this morning, and now I'm going to jump on this after it's been kind of baking in the sun for a while, nice and dry. We've had a couple of days of dry. I'm going to be putting the asphalt on the top of the root cellar. There's um, not that much to say about it other than the fact that I'm kind of looking forward to it. I think it's going to be kind of fun, uh, you know, just kind of going over the whole surface here. Uh, one thing I would say is that this roller, this paint roller that I've been using for the whole process, uh, this is the same one that I use for the foundations, and it's still kind of goopy. Uh, and the, the reason that it's like that is because uh, I, when I finished up last time, I took it, rolled out as much of the asphalt as I could on like an open uh, you know, wall surface, and then I took it and I wrapped it up in some plastic. It was just plastic that like some of the wood or something had come in. I just used the plastic wrap to kind of uh, cover it up so that it wouldn't uh, you know, all get all dry and hard. And I peeled it off this morning and it's ready to go again. And this will be its last use, I think, is uh, you know, covering up the, you know, this thing. And it's nice that I was able to do it all with one roller um, and everything so I didn't have to you know, go through a bunch of them. So I'm just going to give it a dip here and start in with this process. I don't think I have to be nearly as cautious or neat as I did last time. And there we go. I think this is going to be kind of enjoyable. Oh, the w w one note is that this is a tower and there's only one way on and one way off, and that's a bridge over there. And I make sure that I end <laughs> my work over there. And I mean, we've all heard of painting yourself into a corner. I don't want to paint myself onto the edge of a cliff either. <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching.